All right, so why not? Let's do a update. So the two that don't work because either A, someone stepped on it, or B, no idea what the white one. I have no idea. Excuse me, I did a video showing the opening of it, and maybe it's unstable because it makes some rattling noises now after I did it. I don't, yeah, I didn't do it before. Maybe I was too reckless in there, but I have no idea on that one. So, oh well. At least the good news is I put homebrew on the both. Yeah, homebrew is on both of them now. And thank goodness I didn't need to use the uh, SD card. This guy has one. So, what I need to do next is plan um, step two. Find a way how to use an SD card, and that will be where the games are held, A, or B, I will have no choice but to get mini versions of USB drives, so it won't be a real, real messed up thing to have on the systems. That's most likely what's going to happen. So, hey, I don't really need to revive the other two laptops, because I was going to use those to use SD cards, because the newest ones do not have SD card slots. But hey, that was solved. But anyways, I thought why not give you guys an update on what happened here. Which, it was a complete success. They both have homebrew on them. Now I just gotta finish the rest of it and yay. I guess why not let's just make one little part before I leave is games I would have on it. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Maybe have this game in it. <sighs> Of course, Mario Kart Wii will be inserted in there too. And then we'll just see how much the USB drive or how much the SD card can take. That's the real thing, but you got to have the top three at least. Oh, you know, Brawl and Mario Kart Wii. Those are the top two. And then who cares about the rest of them? But I'll see what I can do. Maybe have 20 games on there. If you're interested in what. I will have to actually think about that or be in the process of it. But anyways, yeah, that's just a nice update.